Get ready with me today as we talk about Christmas and how we are not going to go broke this year on Christmas. This year, we're not going to go broke. We're not going to go into credit card debt because we're going to focus on experiences, not stuff. We all have way too much stuff. We don't need more stuff. So I know a lot of you are like, well, what do you mean by experiences? What can I give to someone? Let's take, for example, your husband or your fiance or your boyfriend. Do they like to game? Do they like sports? Maybe get them really good seats to a sporting game. Or in Dallas, I know that there are a lot of sporting venues, so to say, like you can go and play video games all day, you can play cricket, you can play shuffleboard. There's a lot of those type of activities. Another thing you could do is maybe take a painting class together, take a cooking class together. I don't know, maybe your boyfriend, fiance, maybe your husband, your significant other would be interested in a decorating class. In Dallas, there's a place called tipsy blooms i believe and you can make floral arrangements that's another good idea to spend time together a cupcake decorating class any dessert making class one thing i always give to my husband because he's the man that has everything i often give him a massage i'll give him a gift certificate to go get a massage done or get like a men's facial like a spa day and he always loves that and i feel like it's such a good gift this also applies to maybe your father or you could do this for your mom or your mother-in-law your sister-in-law the recipients are endless and who doesn't love a spa day i mean to be honest your dog probably needs a spa day so you can gift your dog an experience as well a spa day I don't have kids as yet but i feel like kids would also really love this you could take them to one of those activity or trampoline parks for the day you could take them to the zoo you could take them to the water park i don't know there's so many kid activities so instead of maybe giving them gifts and stuff this year take them out for a day do an activity with them create memories and do things do experiences instead of getting more stuff and guess what you're gonna have to clean all that stuff put it away and keep track of it and who wants to do that of course if someone really wants something they have something on their wish list you know that then of course give them what they want but i really think we should stop buying stuff and cluttering our homes because at the end of the season you see all of us trying to declutter our homes and every season we are cleaning so why not eliminate that this holiday season and create memories do experiences with each other maybe your whole family gets along you can take a vacation that's a really good idea. Or go out to a really nice dinner. That's another option. If you know someone who is a foodie and you get along with them pretty well, go with them on a food walking tour. That's a really good option. If you're looking for a gift idea and experience for your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance, maybe your mom and maybe your mother-in-law, maybe give them a spa day, maybe pay for their nails or get them a certificate to their nail salon. If they go to a specific salon, maybe you could get gift cards or vouchers to that salon. I'm sure they would love that. Do you know someone who loves to watch movies? Take them out to watch a movie. Maybe give them a gift card to see a movie every month. So you'll get them a gift card to watch 12 movies plus a little extra for some snacks. This being said, this holiday season, if you are invited to someone's house, do not show up empty handed. No matter what the occasion is, even if they just called you over for a random Saturday night dinner at their home, do not show up empty handed. Go to the grocery store, get some sparkling cider, some fancy non-alcoholic beverage, get some wine, champagne, if they do drink alcohol, pick up a box of chocolates, get some flowers, get some hand cream, some hand soap. Do not show up empty handed to people's house. It is rude manners. They have invited you into their home so graciously in their personal space and you are being a buffoon and showing up empty handed. How rude and ill-mannered is that? Bring something. I know that times are tough. I know things are expensive. So don't buy something. Make something. There has to be something in your pantry, in your fridge that maybe you can make and take to this person's house. I've done this many times where it was not time to go grocery shopping, but I was able to find something in the house, cook it up and take it. And everyone was so happy and enjoyed it. So even if it's small, just find something, take it to someone's house. Don't be that person. It's Fine. if you have shown up to someone's house empty handed now you know now you've learned so you won't make that same mistake that's really it your dog doesn't need more stuff your husband doesn't need more stuff your kids don't need stuff no one needs more stuff create experiences make memories and be a nice person this holiday season don't stuff the holidays down people's throat some people have a hard time with the holidays some people don't like the holidays it's not easy for everyone so just be gracious a little extra kind take those selfies take those photos Yes, even if you look like a goblin, I promise in 10 years, you won't even care and you'll be happy that you took the picture. 